Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Capricorn, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just didn't enjoy my vibe, Capricorn, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And always, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way but also remember before see receiving this reading today capricorn remember that i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you honey you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i promise you i believe my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards, right? So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading. So we have the first card that came flying out for you for the main theme for this week for y'all. And it's the Two of Water or the Two of Cups. This card says a relationship that continues to grow closer, uh, forgiveness, and the positive resolution to a conflict, right? So things are definitely starting to uh, work themselves out for you. Capricorn, I do feel like things are just, I am being shown like a river, so I feel like things are just starting to uh, pick back up and flow nicely for you. It does feel, I do get this impression that like, going along with that river that I'm seeing in, in this analogy, I do feel as if like some type of dam was finally like removed, a long standing dam for you guys. Cards just come flying out now. Um, that has you've been working hard at trying to remove and i feel like there's just like forward progression now so if you feel like you've been in a stalemate with something this week i definitely see some progress very much so a uh, three of wands energy so let's see the clarifiers we have for this card we have the queen of pentacles the uh lover's card in the reverse i'm going to just roll upright so you can see the cards as well as the five of cups so for you guys, uh, you guys pr definitely, hmm. now this is turning out to be a situation that I'm not kind of, I wasn't really anticipating with this. When you start out with the two of cups, honey, I'm like, oh, yes, um, things coming together closely. But the thing is, it's almost like, <sighs> this is like very much so bittersweet energy now, Capricorn, because it's like, I feel like with this five of cups here is one of those things of just like cutting your losses with something and being like, hey, you know, let's just speak in terms of like a this connection in your life, right? You're just like, hey, like you just are not for me anymore. Things are just not working out. Or maybe, you know, because of forgiveness, right? Maybe you're practicing forgiveness with something, but you're just like, you know what? This situation just isn't for me anymore. The situation isn't feeding uh, your soul in the way that it needs to. And so with the lover's card in the reverse, it's showing to me that something that you at one point really identified as something really close in your life, you're just now kind of realizing there's some some situation, some person, some opportunity, something in your life that you're identifying and being like, you know what, this just isn't meant to be in my storyline anymore, right? No hard feelings, right? But it's one of those things of being like, now you're presented Capricorn. I hope I didn't call you guys Virgo at all. I feel like I did, but I hope I didn't. Uh, but now it feels like for you Capricorn, you're in this place of being like, all right, I have to like go out on my own now. I have to go. This next part of my, uh, this next part of the story uh, is me leaving, right? I don't, I don't see you uh, really connecting with this Two of Cups energy for too much longer. It does definitely feel like moving on, right? Maybe moving on from jobs, right? Maybe I do just feel like the sense of like moving on from a situation that you at one point held very intimately. Right, because here's the thing, we're not getting any like swords cards with this Capricorn, we're not getting any type of heaviness with this. This is quite literally the opposite with the Queen of Pentacles, there's almost like this sense of freedom after the fact, where just like 
very much so like uh finally having like the house to yourself capricorn where you're just like ah finally i can just like let go and just breathe and just do whatever right now you can fi finally just truly be yourself and enjoying your own company right so it's very interesting how is this going to play out this week though i am curious on that what's this situation going to look like for you as this progresses capricorn so we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Queen of Cups. Very much so, interestingly enough, like, I will not be surprised, uh, I almost called you Virgo there, now that I, like, planted it in my head. Uh, I won't be surprised, Capricorn, if we get, like, the Hermit card for you, because it does feel like you're in this constant intention of trying to just separate yourself from, like, current energies and stuff that you've just been ha uh, hanging on to, it does feel like you're trying to uh, you steer away from like being noticed by people and really just focusing on yourself, right? It feels like, you know, very much so if you've been in a relationship, maybe you've been in like an unfulfilling uh, relationship with somebody in your life, Capricorn, and you're just like, you know what? This is actually not providing anything for me. And you, maybe you want to learn yourself a little bit more, right? With the Queen of Cups here, this is where I feel like like you're associating a lot of happiness the more you detach from something now again can we just talk about capricorn where we're not i mean knock on some wood honey like <laughs> i really don't get like this doesn't feel like bitter and maybe i'm gonna have some people in the comments now capricorn being like actually this person pissed me screwed me over velka like screw this person right which sucks right if that did happen to you but i do feel like like the better with like the you're better off detaching from the situation entirely because put it in this perspective right if you are affected by someone's actions still we are harboring some type of a, a negative emotion or what have you emotion at all for like an old situation or like you're caring about like what someone says or feels you're not fully detached from the situation you're still keeping them relevant in your life in some capacity so the true effort of truly letting go you kind of have to go all out honey you can't just like you know maybe like in a friend group right maybe you can't just like you know not be friends with this person but still like play some game right very much so is like you can't just break up and still be friends right you kind of have to break up and be like you know what breaking up because i want to go out here i want to go into something completely new right so let's get some more tarot cards with this uh capricorn let's see what details we can get for this as you continue on like it's very interesting like normally i feel like a lot of people would associate this as like a heavy reading but for you capricorn especially with this queen of cups in the upright you're really just like happy being by yourself right um so let's get these clarifying cards we have the lover's card funnily enough in the reverse for you again uh the seven of swords and then the chariot card in the reverse yeah, you are just really wanting to, this is all about just putting the, like, you're not feeling good about a situation anymore, and you're just putting the brakes on it, right? If, like, very much so, like, another example, like, maybe you've been going to school or going to university, uh, Capricorn, in term for, like, nursing right you've been doing nursing now i really get the sense you're just like hold up now i don't like nursing anymore i don't want to be a nurse and now you're just putting the brakes on it as like the cherry card in the reverse um and being like eh, let's cut this out the lover's card you're really just identifying as something just not being for you anymore uh capricorn so take this reading as a sign of like because i already do feel like you're thinking about it i feel like you're already feeling it and you're just like all right well maybe you're having some thoughts right now capricorn you're like oh am i being crazy in this maybe there's like maybe there's something more here right no take this is very much so like you know for a lot of people maybe like you're not used to having things just organically end right without there being like a sour note right and maybe even if this is in regards to a person you're this person other person is going to be like well what did i do wrong right such so nothing has to be done wrong this wanted to come out ten of swords right uh ten of swords is a card of um things starting to look up um but very much so tends to talk about the closures to cycles as well so yeah it's very much so like 
Capricorn. Like, nothing has to be wrong in this situation. No one has to be at fault. This, I really do feel like this is all about, like, your own instinct for what it is that you're feeling, where you're just like, there's just something deep inside you right now, Capricorn, or where you're just like, no, there's something better out there. There's something more, and there's something you have to do by yourself, right? I really do get the strong sensation of this Capricorn. It's very, 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 your, y'all's reading is very weird. <laughs> Straight up. Like, I'm going to be honest. Y'all's reading is very weird, but not weird in a bad way. Like, I, I enjoy this energy a lot because it's very much so you guys seem to be at peace, but <laughs> it's just very interesting of like, again, like, I feel like most people would associate this to be like a bad thing. Five of the Cups and the Page of Swords tried to come out, well, came flying out, didn't try, they did, uh, came out for you, Capricorn. Definitely, like, a situation of, hmm, yeah, I feel like we're, this is getting, getting into repetitiveness at this point, Capricorn, so I'm gonna just, like, wrap this up. It does feel like maybe if something changed or, like, perhaps with this Five of uh, Cups, this is, it's almost like someone said something, someone uh spoke of in a way where you're just like oh i didn't know your um i didn't know your morals were that way right or maybe they said something out of anger and it just changed how you like you can't get over it or it's just like oh this just isn't for me um anymore right and very much so yeah because these cards that keep following you i just get this sense that it's like very much so attached to like bittersweetness but you have your eye on something new right it's just like yeah it sucks this cycle is coming to a close but you have like you have your eye on like a new cycle entirely i feel like uh capricorn and maybe that's probably part of the reason why you're having it's like just more so like a uh, no kind of bitterness towards this maybe you are bitter but i don't feel like you're being bitter necessarily capricorn um towards this because it just yeah you have your eye on something i want to know what it is right let's see what details we can get about this what is this let's just say yeah if you haven't made the decision yet capricorn what does this new situation look like that you've had your eye on for a while <sighs> mm. so now we have the chariot card the four of cups as well as the uh, ace of pentacles coming in for you Hmm. So, whatever you had your eye on, you have your eye on it because at one point, like, you saw it. It's very much so, like, maybe you're driving, right? And you're just like, ah, oh, I'm driving to Chick-fil-A, right? You're driving to Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A sounds good to you, honey. But then, like, right when you're, like, as you're on your journey to Chick-fil-A, uh, Whataburger goes by or, like, McDonald's goes by or insert your favorite, another restaurant, honey. And at the time, you look at it and you're like, oh, well, do I want this? But then you, your exit, like, the, you couldn't get off the exit because your your path, your, where you're currently driving to is taking you to Chick-fil-A. Getting off and trying to get to that McDonald's, whatever, is impossible, right? It wasn't possible at the time. Seems like you're backtracking. You're like, you know what? Like, I want, I want that McDonald's. So it does feel like you're doing like a complete U-turn and going right after this, right? Um, something, I do feel like it was something that was presented to you at one point in your life, Capricorn, um, and you didn't grab up at it, but you kept your mind on it and being like, okay, like I really want it. And then it feels like you're finally making the decision being like, you know what? Chick-fil-A, I love you. Peace and love. Your, your chicken is yummy, whatever. But I want to go to McDonald's or what have you, <laughs> right? Y'all, you know, y'all notice I'm struggling so much with wanting to acknowledge that you guys want to go to a McDonald's over like a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, yeah, I do feel like whatever it is, like, you're not going to regret the decision and i feel like there's a reason as to why it's been sitting in your mind i feel like this take this as a sign capricorn of something that you identified being like oh that sounds like it would be nice really take that u-turn don't be like yeah making that u-turn uh may like cause a bunch of inconveniences may take a lot of effort initially but i feel like you're not going to regret it capricorn so uh yeah now let's get into your uh, romantic and social situations this week, Capricorn, because we have more than just romantic connections in our lives, right? We have family connections, friends, work connections, all of that. So let's see what's going on there this week for y'all. The Emperor card. This is you taking charge, like the ball's in your court with something. Um, let's see here. We're going to be doing... Did I even say that we're going to be uh, focusing on... Yeah, I did. So definitely your, the ball's in your court with some type of social situation. Let's see what clarifiers we get for this. 
Wow. So <laughs> the cards we get for this Capricorn, you get the seven of pentacles, the four of swords, as well as the two of pentacles. All of these are in the reverse. So um, really just highlighting in terms of social connections, like seven of pentacles, you're uprooting uh, stuff that you put, like uprooting the seeds that you've planted for a while now. Like this is definitely like heavy, just like uprooting, uh, moving spaces, four swords, two of pentacles. This is very much so just like really like a situation where it's just like you're taking your food or like you're sitting at a table and you're just literally quite literally flipping how many times can i say literally you're flipping this table over and being like let's just like you want to order like something completely new i don't even know why i keep on referencing food examples but like yeah you guys are just like flipping the table on some type of connection in your life this week and i feel like you feel good about it right i'm not going to hear to talk you out of it especially since how beautifully it goes for your general portion of your reading capricorn but it's just very 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 interesting like the mindset that y'all are in right now you know like y'all are just like ready for, like you're just done like y'all are just checked out perhaps like your eight of swords like you just a situation has just felt very restrictive and like you feel like you couldn't say ever say your peace with something uh capricorn and it's just it's like yeah i feel like you guys are just having a flipping table moment and just being like and, and being like enough it's enough enough right and now let's get into i don't think i even said it um i want to get into your uh financial and work situation um but i did just pull the eight of uh, swords again for you really emphasizing there's some type of social connection that you guys have feel like suppressed in, trapped in, feel as if that you really couldn't like it feels like you just couldn't be yourself around that connection capricorn and so yeah all your cards are really elevating you to breaking off from it now getting into your financial and work situation we have the renewal card <laughs> archangel jerome review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts and time to move into a new direction can we just appreciate capricorn all your cards are literally asking you to do a new like you guys are just all aspects like just moving in a new direction like entirely it's almost as if some of you capricorns y'all are like packing your bags packing everything that you own and just driving off ready to change your name ready to adopt like a whole new life right <laughs> like i don't even feel like i need to pull clarifiers for this um i feel like you guys capricorn are just like in the name of trying to change things up and that's all you have your focus on right now and so really i feel like this reading just does nothing but it help enable some of you guys in like a good way of being like all right well now that i'm getting this affirmation i need to just pull the trigger now pulling that lever so yeah i celebrate you capricorn for the journey that you guys are on right i really do like admire you guys you, um you're not associating the losses and things that you need to distance yourself from i don't really feel like you're uh, seeing this in like a negative light at all i feel like you're just very much so keeping an open mind acknowledging that some things are in your life meant for are only meant for your life and for seasons not necessarily for a lifetime right feels like you guys are having a really good or keeping a very stable good head on your shoulders during this time capricorn so yeah that is the cards that i have for you this week though capricorn i hope this weekly horoscope reading uh gave you some messages that resonated let me know which cards did let me know where y'all are going in your journey right i'm curious be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you found this reading helpful and then also capricorn i do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs not just capricorn so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not honey uh send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a card that resonates with them as well until next time though capricorn i love you so much